Today, we're starting off with an announcement. A new Legendary Lunch Hour has been announced for next week, April 10th, from 12 to 1 in your local time zone. 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. It's Giratina Origin Form Legendary Lunch Hour. So what that means is uh, it's the same as we saw with the last Legendary Lunch Hour. Every single gym that doesn't currently have a raid on it or doesn't have an EX raid scheduled will have a Legendary Egg. In this case, it'll be Giratina Origin Form. And those eggs will all hatch at 12 and be there for the hour. It's an hour of Giratina raids on literally every gym. So I think we learned a few lessons last time. Uh, if you want to participate, number one, it's probably a good thing to coordinate with your raid group ahead of time so everyone knows where to be. It's kind of hard to just show up at a gym and hope that someone's there because every gym has a raid. They could literally be at any gym. We also saw that gyms that already had a raid on them got an egg after that raid ended. So if you have gyms with raids on them, those ones should kind of go into overtime, so to speak, and their raids will last a little longer. So you can kind of incorporate that into your route planning. And personally, I'm very excited and very much looking forward to this legendary lunch hour with Giratina Origin form, because as you'll find out in the following video, I have not been having a very good time with this legendary raid boss. Picking up right where we left off, or right to near where we left off. This egg's hatching in a minute and a half, but quickly. Let's go over counters. Uh, you should know this already because it's the same Pokemon, essentially, as the last time it was here, the altered form, which has actually been here for like a few days now. Rayquaza, Salamence, Palkia, Dragonite, Dialga, Mamoswine, Giratina, oh, this one. Latios, Mewtwo, Weavile, Gengar, Tyranitar. These look familiar, right? So, Giratina Origin Form. It's Dragon, it's Ghost, it has five weaknesses. Dragon, Ice, Fairy, Other Ghost, Dark. And which counters you choose is kind of gonna depend on the moveset. You've got Dragon Tail or Shadow Claw as quick moves, Shadow Ball, Dragon Pulse, and Ominous Wind as charge moves. If it has Dragon-type moveset, the dragons are gonna take a lot of extra damage. If it has a Ghost-type moveset, the Ghosts, the Psychic Types, the Mewtwo, uh, they're gonna take extra damage. So pay attention to your recommendations. If you're getting dragon types recommended, it's probably safe to use them because it might have ghost type moves. If you're getting non-dragon types recommended, pay attention. It's probably, well, not safe-ish to use them because they're gonna take extra damage from those dragon type moves. And now this egg is hatching. I better get over there. Here we go, Giratina. Oh, honestly, the much better looking form and actually much stronger. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a dragon type moveset considering I'm getting all Tyranitar recommended. So to make things a little more interesting, I'm gonna squeeze in a few non Tyranitar. Uh, let's bring the Shadow Ball Mewtwo. Let's bring the two big Gengar recently renamed. Thank you to everyone supporting on Patreon. Um, and just for fun, even though I haven't powered it up yet, I'm gonna bring that hundo, Dialga, just, just because. Now again, we just talked about Giratina Origin Form's moves, and you might realize now that they're different than Altered Form. Originally, uh, they were going to be the same, they were changed, they were updated, so now Giratina Origin Form is a much better raid and gym attacker, whereas the Altered Form is better in PvP. So, Giratina Origin Form, this one, the snaky, better, the cooler looking one, in my opinion. Uh, this one is a much better attacker. Kind of a, wow, really cool animation, actually. A uh, better attacker. It's a great ghost type attacker, especially. It doesn't have higher DPS than Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball, Gengar, but it has much better TDO. It has better defensive stats, so it's going to survive longer, and it's going to deal comparable damage. In the long run, over the course of its entire time in battle, it's gonna deal more damage than a Shadow Claw Shadow Ball Gengar would because it's gonna survive longer. However, in this 20 person lobby, it's not surviving very long at all. But this is uh, double ghost moves and we are not taking any damage at all from it. So since it is ghost moves, obviously like this dude, oh wow, it is ghost moves. That's why I got Tyranitar recommended. Hmm, it's not dragon moves at all. Um, anyway, 
Watch out for the ghost moves. Gengar obviously got one shot there. And uh, got some rare candies. Stardust. Very nice. Oh, only seven balls? Where was Team Instinct on that? So the numbers that we're looking for today, 2105 is perfect IVs without a weather boost. And 2631 is perfect IVs with a weather boost. Obviously it's not windy or, well, it's kind of windy, but in game, it's sunny. So I'm looking for 2105. I have here 2032. That is quite terrible, actually. Very, very bad IVs on my Giratina here who is now floating up in the air. Let's see if I can still hit it up there. Oh, it's really close. It's a really close throw. Oh. All right, Giratina. Yeah, that is a large circle and a very close Pokemon. And very active. There you go. Oh, still overthrew it. It's like throwing at a Pidgey. Uh, still overthrew it. You really just have to like the tiniest, tiniest toss. Please don't run away from me. Ugh. It's difficult. It's it's a very vertical throw. Just throw it. You can spin it for the curveball, but you're really throwing straight since it's so close. There we go. Oh my god. I'm struggling. I'm having a very hard time today. Two balls left, yikes. Haven't even hit an excellent throw yet. Okay, come on. There we go. I had to throw from all the way on the other side of my screen there. One ball left. I'm scared, I'm really scared. Perfect, dead center, but really throwing from gone. Bye. Ah. Shiny check. Seven balls. Took me a while to get the throw down. Uh, I think there's one. Yeah. There is one more. It's over there. It's already hatched. I don't know that anyone is actually going to be over there. Ah, bummer. Let's go try to find another one. Or go back and edit. And come back out and find one later. We'll see. Giratina, origin form. It's here. Just uh, took me a little while to get used to the throw. I never did find another Giratina raid that day. Good news is there's more today. Bad news is I'm late. There's only one other person here. And while we can duo it, the two of us definitely are not going to. Let's give it another try. See if anyone shows up past a bunch of people who had just finished it while I was walking over here, but I'm late. All right, four. Four is doable, but I'm, oh, five. We'll be fine. Hopefully I get more balls than yesterday. 10. At least I'm kind of more familiar. 2071 is better than yesterday. And I know, I know what I need to do now. And I still can't do it. Oh, oh, that was bad. I'm getting nervous now. Oh, that was awful. How come it feels like I can catch every other legendary raid boss on terrible throws? But I've thrown nothing but terrible throws. And this time it's not working out. Oh my god. I swear, I barely threw that. Oh my god. You know, maybe this is just a video where I battle Giratina and not where I catch it. Last ball. God. Oh, I've never wanted to Mystic 7 this phone more than I do right now. <laughs> uh, not catching Giratina today. Unless another raid magically pops up and hatches in the next 20 minutes. Here we are for a windy day three of my attempt to catch Giratina, origin form. This gym's yellow. I don't have any friends here, but I at least get the gym control bonus. 
It's going to be all Tyranitar again. I'm going to kick it off with the DPS though, so I can at least get uh, some damage balls out of this. Oh, there's a ton of instinct in here. Alright. Feeling good about this one. I'm at least going to get a good number of balls. How I use them, well, we'll see how that goes. Alright, quick and easy there. Uh, I feel like I did a good amount of damage. What are we working with? 20? I missed it. 20 something. I need revives. I need revives really badly. 12 balls. Okay. This is my best, best shot yet. And 2077, I think, is my best IVs yet, too. So. Let's hope it doesn't take too long to get this right. Nailed it. Third day's the charm. Oops. 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 There we go. Okay, just barely made the excellent there. Please, please, oh, finally. Three days, three days that took me. We got Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball right off the bat. 15 HP, finally. <sighs> Feels good.